Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. I am doing something a little different uh, this morning. It is about 11 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday, the 20th of June. Uh, like many of you, I have a problem uh, with bike hoarding and I'm constantly checking marketplace for good deals. And <clears throat> in this area where I live, the greater Cincinnati area, there's not a lot of stuff out there. Um, I've been here for about a year. And uh, coming from Austin, where cycling is pretty common, here not so much. Uh, I'm not sure why that is, but uh, you know, there's just not a lot of stuff out there. You see a lot of uh, Walmart bikes, uh, and occasionally you'll see like a branded bike or a bike shop bike or whatever. Um, well, last night I was cruising the marketplace. I got a, uh, a hit on a Trek Marlin 5. It's a 2019 for a pretty good price. Uh, I offered him uh, what I thought was a fair price and I'm going to going to check it out. So like I said, it's a 2019 Marlin 5. So this, uh, as far as I know, I believe it has a a three by seven, so it's like a 21 speed. It's got the Tektro hydraulic brakes, um, and it's uh, 27.5, and I think it's a 15 and a half inch frame, so that's like a small. Uh, I'm gonna go check it out. We'll have another project to complete here over the next little while. Um, should be fun if I do get it. Clearly, uh, if you're watching this video, I probably did pick it up. Um, and we'll see what we can get into. Please uh, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't Continue already. Straight for eight minutes to Dixie Highway. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. All right, guys, quick update. Uh, I don't know if you can see it back there, but <laughs> I picked it up. Uh, honestly, just couldn't resist. It's a little bit beat up, but it is a 2019, so you know it's about four years old, maybe five years old. <clears throat> probably just a teenager looking to get some extra cash um, looks like he probably just outgrew the bike um, the uh, frame is a 15 and a half inch and it's pretty small and he was he was probably close to six foot so um, he's the original owner he bought it over in uh, Fort Wright here locally so <clears throat> you know good deal for me that kid gets to make a little cash, and uh, now we have a project. Um, it's a little bit in rough shape, like I said. Uh, we'll go over it here more in detail, but uh, happy with the find. Uh, you know, like I said earlier, these uh, these bikes don't come around too often around here. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, <clears throat> I got the uh, I got the bike. This is the uh, newest addition to the uh, fleet and the family. This is the Trek Marlin 5, 2019 version. Uh, so this is this is the old uh, 3x7 uh, Shimano Turney uh, group set. So you've got the front there and then the Turney 6-7 uh, speed in the back. I'm pretty sure that's a free wheel and not a free hub, um, unfortunately. So I can't keep this as uh, 27, five. Um, yeah. So by the way, this is a 27 and a half, uh, inch wheel set on here. This is a small frame. Um, it's a 15 and a half inch. This is my first small frame since the GT aggressor pro also my first three by since the GT aggressor pro. <clears throat> so it'll be interesting to see, uh, once I get it apart, if this is, uh, if this is actually a cassette, I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure this is a free wheel. Uh, looks very much like a free wheel. It's a little bit beat up. It's uh, it's taken some abuse, but not like super overly abused. Um, the guy that I got it from, he was uh, getting rid of it. I got it for a pretty good deal. Um, actually a very good deal. The, uh, the idea is I'm gonna do something a little different here. Um, Sam is now riding uh, the trails, so he's got his GT Stromper Pro 26 over there. I was thinking about 
trying this on for him to see how it fits. I don't think he's quite ready yet. I think this is still maybe a little bit too big for him. Um, but when we are riding, I've got the Super Marlin there and I've got the Polygon. <clears throat> so when we go to the trails together, I feel a bit overbiked. Uh, so I'm hoping to maybe turn this one into more of a casual ride, uh, you know, for, you know, when hi him and I go out and um, I won't be as aggressive looking. I'll just be cruising along with him on his, uh, his bike. So I have some ideas of what I want to do. I've got a lot of parts lying around. I was going to probably try to test this and see how it works as a three by, um, but it's pretty crunchy. Um, I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to play around with it a little bit before I start tearing into it and, uh, doing a tear down and rebuild. But, um, I'm pretty sure that I've got all the parts to make this a super fun bike, um, without having to put out any extra cash with uh, the exception of maybe some pedals and maybe some grips. Um, but other than that, I've got everything lying around. I did a uh, dry fit uh, 29er wheel in there in the rear and it will fit. Um, I'm not sure if it'll fit with a 29 by 2.2 tire, but I've got those 700C by 45 WTB Riddlers hooked up to the old uh, Bontrager rims that came stock on the Marlin 6. Um, so I'll probably turn this into a small framed 29er. I have an extra fork. I've got the wheels. I've got a micro shift Advent X group set. Um, I've got basically everything. I've got a, a square taper one by that I could throw on here. <clears throat> and uh, I could have this thing going in about a matter of a couple hours um, if I wanted to, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's got the Arvada uh, Bontrager seat, super flat bars, decent stem. It's not super long, uh, considering this is back from 2019. It's got these uh, Ergon style kind of Bontrager grips. I think these are lock-ons. Yeah, they are. And it's got the double shifters. It's got the seven over here on the right, the three on the left. Tektro hydraulic brakes, which is nice to see for this uh, entry level trek. Um, you know, it probably <clears throat> wouldn't have been uncommon to find mechanical disc brakes on this bike maybe the year before. Um, but you know, we'll uh, we'll tear it apart. See what's uh, see what we can make of it. Got a little bit of scuffing here on the frame, but nothing terrible. Make sure you subscribe and like uh, to uh, follow this build and this journey with the uh, 2019 Trek Marlin 5 in uh, the blue colorway. <clears throat> and uh, that's about it for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.